This is bloody ridiculous. I got fired for the fifth time in a row after working at Kaiser Permanente. Let's talk about what happened. First, stupid Jari and his old pregnant mom came in for an ultrasound scan of her twin boys. She is a moron because she is way too old to be pregnant and her babies are boys. The world would be better off without boys. Those stupid apes making stupid decisions need to painfully die. Then some lazy crippled retard in a wheelchair came in, and the ugly girl had a pity party and claimed he was just injured. Then two retards came in to see someone with the retarded name of H. Ketchum, so I couldn't help their lazy butts. Then a fatty came in and asked for a physical, so I gave that idiot what he deserved. Apparently, I am responsible for the deaths of four children, and two of them were Miss La Valley's kids. Miss La Valley and their family got what they deserve. Another was a boy who faked a heart attack like an attention seeker. He obviously faked his own death, and saying he died of a heart attack insults my intelligence. The last was a girl who was given a lethal injection because the wimpy poop face deserved it. Yet an anomaniac's character came in and fired me. Anomaniacs should be banned from this world. Worst of all, I am now a wanted employee, which is unfair. Do you want to work at Popeyes with me? Apparently I am now wanted. If I run into 10 customers that watch the news, then I am leaving East Contra Costa County. I understand how you feel. I hate being considered wanted too. Okay, Professor Hinkle. You may take your seat. Welcome to Popeyes. How can we help you? I would like a chicken sandwich with fries. Are you retarded? The fries have gone bad, dummy. If the fries have gone bad, then why haven't they been discarded? That's none of your business, idiot stalker. Fine then. I am going to a different Popeyes. Go get executed by an electric chair. Welcome to Popeyes. How can we help you? I would like tenders, fries, and a Pepsi. I have got something to show you first. Hey! That was uncalled for. Serves you right for being so ugly and sucky. Welcome to... Get out of here this instant. No baby show characters allowed. How dare you tell me that I am not allowed here. That was very rude. I am leaving and never coming back. Nope. I am out of here because I watched the news, and the lady on the right was responsible for the deaths of four children. Oh my. I ran into the first customer that watches the news. Nine more, and I am leaving East Contra Costa County. Yeah, but let's just move on. Welcome to... Get out of here right now. No logos allowed. Wow. That was disrespectful. I am leaving and never coming back. I hope you bleed to death. Welcome to... Get out of here this instant. We said no logos allowed, idiot. Hey, how dare you kick me out and call me names. That's it. I am going to KFC instead. I hope I don't have any sort of communication with you ever again. Go to death row. Welcome to Popeyes. How can we help you? Hey, isn't the woman next to you the same woman who wished our younger brother an unhappy birthday and falsely accused him of touching someone's breasts? Whoever you are talking about, it wasn't her. It was just somebody that looked like her. Oh, okay. Anyways, I would like spicy bona fide chicken, buttermilk biscuits, and Sprite. And I would like a two piece with a biscuit with Sprite. You are so delusional and stupid. Sprite is only sold in the month of July, dummies. That's not true. I can see some cups of Sprite at some of the tables. That's because they peed in the cups, idiots. Now you either listen to Sailor John and order something, else we will strangle you. I knew you were the same lady who wished our brother an unhappy birthday and falsely accused him of molesting his teacher's breasts. I hope I never see or have any sort of communication with you ever again. Shut up.
Nobody cares about your stupid brother. He is just a waste of oxygen. Welcome to Popeyes. How can we help you? I would like a chicken sandwich, fries, two buttermilk biscuits, and a Coke. Here you go. You can have it for free. Now. Thank you so much. What is your name? I'm Montana Max. You're welcome. I am Liz Gray. Would you like to watch me serve the customers in the next two episode? Sure. Okay, see you then. Welcome to Get out of here right now. No aviation geeks allowed. How dare you tell me I am not allowed here. That was disrespectful and inconsiderate. I am going to Chick-fil-A instead. Go get hit by a New York City subway train. Welcome. Well, well, well. If it isn't Kenward Perkins, a.k.a. the Hitler of the 21st century, you are seriously a waste of oxygen and have no ability to please others. You are nothing but trouble. It is true that I have made poor decisions in the past, but I'm trying to improve myself. I would actually like to order food for my wonderful family. There is absolutely no way we are feeding you anything. You and your pathetic family deserve to starve to death. Your mom also watches porn in front of her family instead of raising you to be as good as me. You go Mrs. Gray. Now I will teach that good for nothing loser a lesson. Uh oh. We're busted. We're busted. Kenward. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. Your heart really bad. What happened, sweetie? Are you alright? Say something. Speak to us. Are you alright? What happened to you? Thank goodness you're here. Those two employees were beating me up, insulting me, and refusing customer service while I was just ordering food. I know who the female employee is. She is Mrs. Gray, the resource teacher from my high school that banned Alyssa Murray from seeing Miss La Valley a few years ago, accused people of actions they didn't do, mocked others in an unprofessional manner simply for being different, killed four kids, and abused Jahari Davis. And mom, Mrs. Gray claimed that you watched porn in front of me, dad, and Alice, which is not true. Oh my god. Thanks for telling us that. Why don't you go with these nurses to the ambulance van outside while we deal with these employees? Okay, Mom. Liz Gray. I can't believe my ears. You and your co-worker seriously injured a customer that could potentially be deadly, vandalized the whole restaurant, and refused customer service to all but one of the customers. You also said I watch porn in front of my husband and children, right at my son. What are you? Some kind of psycho? Huh. All of this is unacceptable. Also, what happened to the tables and chairs? We picked up Kenward in self-defense and accidentally destroyed the restaurant in the process. He was being such an idiot for talking to me, so we had to beat him up to stop him from talking to us. It doesn't matter. What you two did was unacceptable. Those tables and chairs cost nearly $2,000 and you broke them to pieces. Not to mention you caused us to lose a lot of customers and got us a lawsuit for assault. Regardless, that doesn't give you to a right to beat up our son. But you don't understand. It was that idiotic Kenward who started it all. I don't want to hear another word from you. You're both fired and banned from Popeyes indefinitely. And Liz Gray, you also owe me $2,000. If you don't pay me by March 1st, I will call the police to have you arrested for vandalism. Now get out of here. And don't even think about hurting us or Joan Cleaver. I hope that one day, we don't see Mrs. Gray ever again, and she will be in prison for good. I hope so, too. Me three.